During Rick Perry's time as governor, Texas, Texas created almost one-third of all new private sector jobs in the United States. Governor Perry, in the past you've mentioned cutting federal agencies. We've talked a lot tonight, tonight about the debt, size of government, not working for the rest of America. What specifically, what agencies would you either eliminate or cut? I've heard this question before. <laughs> I, I thought yeah, you might, I thought yeah, you might thought go you there. Might do it. Listen, I think it's really, when you look at the, the federal government, obviously when we talk about the size of it and the, the concept of, of being able to uh, shrink the size of state government, if anybody gets up on the stage, uh, whether it's any of these capable uh, candidates here or anybody on the, on the left that says the, if there's any way to go forward in this country without cutting, and without growing. Those are the two things that we must do in this country. And we have to cut spending. And I know a little bit about cutting spending. We had a $10 billion budget shortfall in, in my home state in 2003, Jeb. And we went in there and we made those cuts. And we told people that we would do that because we realized that's exactly how you have to live your life. And the government has to learn to do that as well. And the states that have been successful, governors have done that. And they've gone in and they made those cuts. We cut that $10 billion out of our budget. And then we cut our regulatory climate down. We made it fair. We made it predictable. We passed the most sweeping tort reform in, in the nation, Joe. And the result of that was health care that exploded across the state of, of, of Texas. And we had the access to health care. And two years later, we came back into session, because we only meet every other year for 140 days. We had an $8 billion budget surplus. That's what you can do in this country. I believe in this country, and I believe that if you put those principles into place, the greatest days of America are in front of us. Governor Perry, I've heard many, several primaries that pe people want to run for president with good intentions. They say, we need to reform the tax code. It's too complicated. Can, that, can we really reform the American tax code we for, can, in, for individuals. And we start with a corporate tax code. As you've heard here tonight, we got the highest corporate tax code in the Western world. There are two things to make that growth occur in this country like it's never happened before. As I said earlier, it is with American and North American energy policy. And I'm talking about all energy policy in this country and all domestic uh, energy sources. We need to be using those because you drive down the cost of electricity by this abundant power that we have, couple that with this corporate tax, you lower the corporate tax policy or the corporate tax rate by 10 percent and every accountant worth their salt will tell you that you'll see a mid-level wages increase between 5 and 10 percent. The other side of that is it's incentive to manufacturers. We can bring back manufacturing in this country like we've never seen before. Blue collar workers ought to be standing up and saying, Perry, I'm going to vote for you because you're going to raise my wages. And that's what this is all about. We're going to be going out and laying out a positive message for the people of this country where that they see that the best days of America are in front of us, and it happens by using domestic energy and by creating a climate for manufacturing like we've never seen are, in this country before. Are you going to have an individual tax reform plan? And if so, just Yeah, we'll lay it out, and it's, it. it's obviously going to be one that, uh, you know, listen, you've got to cut. You've got to cut. I mean, whether it's cutting spending or cutting tax rates, that's part of it. And if you don't see the growth side of that with it, then uh, you're just not paying attention. You have 30 seconds, Governor. 30. Greatest days of America in front of us. I believe that with all my heart. I'm an incredible optimist about the future of this country. And I'm optimistic about this country because I understand it. I've seen what we've done before. I think about 1970, the country was on its back. We had a president that was hollowing out our military. We had a president that put this country in malaise. We had our embassy that had already been taken over in, in Tehran. But 10 years later, 10 years later, we saw the Berlin Wall fall. And we saw Soviet communism on its way out because we elected a president that believed in this country, that understand that when America is strong, the world is safer. And that is exactly what we're looking for again. We've made it through two world wars. We've made it through a Great Depression. we made it through Jimmy Carter. We'll make it through Barack Obama. Trust me. Thank you, Governor. You're welcome.